Hey, what's up? Trader Tim from Emini Mind here. In this video, I want to do a little bit deeper dive and walkthrough of the Top Step X platform, um, how to place some trades, some of the things I've customized on my chart, and uh, some of the things that I like and a few things that I don't like about it. But uh, all in all, it's it's a pretty good platform. Uh, it's using Trading View charts, and then the is the simple trade ladder. And um, the way I have my chart set up here, I've got a one minute chart on the left and the Hakanashi on the right. It's actually a 500 tick, but that's fine. Close enough to 512. Um, and then a few things that uh, that you want to do with your charts um, when you're placing trades on the dome. Uh, if you go up to the settings wheel, there's not a lot of customization, which I like. If you get into some platforms, especially like Ninja Trader, uh, Sierra Charts, um, there's so much custom customization, it can be a little overwhelming. Even Thinkorswim, which I've used for you know almost two decades now, um, very user friendly. I'm very familiar with the charts, but I probably use 10% of the platform's capability. So in the settings area for the dome, um, I have some of the things, uh, various columns and things turned off. Uh, so you can you know see my settings if you want to try to match uh, what I have. Um, the I like to leave the the flatten and cancel all buttons on, just because um, you know you get into into situations where you need to just get rid of all your orders or, or something happens and you need to get out of your trade. So those are two that are, are nice to have on. Um, one thing, the so if you're going to place an order, um, today was a pretty choppy slow morning. I really didn't have um, didn't have any trades in my live account except the 15 minute uh, opening range breakout in that account um, but no other no other trades it was pretty chopping around uh, this morning uh, but I, I tinkered around a little bit in this uh, in my, the practice account here so if you're putting in an order um, and you want to go to a, a buy stop you left click and then if you want to do a limit order you need to do a right click I don't love that um, you know on if I pull up my the active trader, um, you can just click with the left mouse anywhere on the chart. And if you're above price, it'll be a buy stop or a sell. Um, it'll be, if you're above price, it would be a, um, a buy stop on the left and a limit sell on the right under the ask column. And if you're below the price, you're going to be a sell stop on the right and a buy limit on the left. Whereas in um, in top step, if you were to just click with the left cursor underneath the uh, ask column, instead of going in as a sell stop, it just puts you in at the market. So it's a subtle thing, but um, I imagine there will be a lot of improvements over uh, over time here, and, and that might get adjusted. Um, one other thing that I dislike about the platform is that when I'm, I'm going up and down on the dome, it doesn't show my price. Like, see how I have the cursor going up and down? It's nice when those two are linked together. So one more time on the, on the active trader. See how my cursor goes up and down on the dome, and the crosshairs go up and down? Or if I'm on the, the chart, price is moving on the dome. It does make it a little bit easier to kind of, like when I'm scrolling on the dome, I'm actually looking at the chart and finding, okay, here's the high price based on this crosshair. And then I go up one more and then I can click on the dome without actually looking at the dome. And uh, whereas on uh, on top step, you know, you, you have to, uh, they're, they're not linked. So what I would do there, if I wanted to go, uh, let's say short with a sell stop. If you just kind of click down below, and then when your order shows up, you drag it on the price ladder. That's what I've been doing there. Um, it is a little touchy. So like if you're doing, you know, one contract, two, three, four. Sometimes it'll it'll double you up um, if your if your mouse is a little sensitive. So uh, just pay attention to how many contracts you're putting on. But yeah, if I'm thinking, okay, here I'm gonna I'm gonna get short. I might click down here and then. Uh, you know, just drag up the price to exactly where I want it. So it's nice it it does show up on the chart. A um, couple other things. If you go into this settings wheel, you can set a stop. Um, that's the risk here, um, and then automatically apply risk profit bracket. So if you want a profit target, you can put that in here. Um, stop uh, will go in here, and then that way, if you put on a trade, then the the stop will go out automatically. The other thing you can do 
if you just place a trade, so let's just do this here. And for the sake of time, we're just gonna drag it in and there. So stop goes out. If I wanted to, if I just had the order out there, you can click on the order, this box, green box on the chart and drag it down and it will put in a stop loss. Or you can click on the box, drag it up, and that will set a take profit, which is kind of cool um, because you can go in with, with nothing and then uh, you know just go in with the order and then add your brackets, if you will, after the fact. Um, but I do like having the stop go in there automatically. So you can see the, the two linking up, which is nice. And then let's say you, uh, you know, just wanted to cancel all, all your orders. You can just hit the cancel all, or if you want to get out of the position, you just hit flatten all. So we'll just do flatten all to clear that. Um, let's see. So I have the Hakanashi on the right chart, and then um, the left chart is just traditional candlesticks. The settings for, I won't go through all the settings on the, the chart, but I have adjusted a few things um, to get rid of, mostly get rid of clutter on the chart. The one thing that I, I can't figure out with uh, TradingView, or at least in this environment, is if you hover over a candle, like in Thinkorswim, if I go to the chart and I hover over the candle, up here in the top right, the R is the size of the candle. And so that's really helpful for like taking one minute trades where I wanna see you know, how big the candle is. Up here in the top right, it'll tell me the exact range of that candle. And um, I haven't found a way to do that here in Thinkers in uh, Top Step X with the uh, trading view. It tells me the open, high, low, close. That are these, those are the values up here, but it'd be nice to have an R with the range next to it. Um, so hopefully that uh, that gets improved. And then the last thing with the uh, FIB retracements, if you start your drawing, it's, it's not gonna look like this. So if you go into the settings, for um, the fibs, then you can change the different values, uh, colors and whatnot. And then uh, if you save that, save your uh, your template up here um, and then save your, your layout, then every time you make your drawing, you're gonna have uh, your, your fibs looking how you want them to. Um, then you can, snap the open high low close that's something that's always good to do just so that you have uh you're getting the high low and close like as you bring your cursor above it makes it a little bit easier i also enlarge the the font on the um the dome just to make it a little bit easier to see so all in all it's a good platform um i think you know compared to trade of eight there's the, the charts are certainly much better the dome trade of eight dome is slightly better um just kind of aesthetically wise but uh, and you can do bracket orders and more advanced brackets in trade of eight which is nice but um i think this top x uh, top step x platform will continue to get better and better um since they're kind of making it their primary uh platform so all in all um today was a really slow day so there really wasn't much going on but um i've been tinkering more with that top step x platform since i've got a lot more traders that are uh you know, going through the combine and, and getting into the funded environment. So I wanted to be a little bit more familiar with that. And uh, I may go through the uh, go through the combine as well. We were talking about the uh, ability to um, to do the trade copying. Um, and that's just up here in the um, settings wheel. You can uh, have a lead account and then a practice account. And then or, you know, you can have many, many accounts. And so when you're uh, you can link them all up so that it just copies your trades across the board. Um, I think I changed a couple things in here. Um, this hard, hide chart plots is what links your prices to the chart. And then this left will put the prices or the trades on the left side of the screen versus the right. So that would be, um, that's helpful because if you have an order, first when you when you come in here, if you have a, order sitting out there um, and this box is over to the right it's it, sometimes it gets on top of your chart so if you switch that to left it makes it a lot easier uh, and then the last one yeah privacy miscellaneous nothing really important in there um, so yeah that's what uh that's what i've been tinkering with with the the platform here um overall slow choppy day so not much going on you can see um the uh you know just the 
the range here moving up in the morning this is the five minute chart and just basically sideways along the top of the 30 minute range 30 minute high all day between this first full halfway back of the day and haven't really done anything from there so um i think the top step x platform would be really nice for um you know short-term trading uh but i'll still for sure be using uh thinkorswim most of the time for charts and uh Obviously, all my trading over the years has been Thinkorswim. I've used uh, Infinity Futures uh, for for many years before um, t uh, Trade Evade had come along, and then I've kind of Thinkorswim has gotten a lot better over the years. They'll be finishing their migration with Charles Schwab this month, and uh, there may be some uh, hopefully no hiccups. But uh, originally, when Thinkorswim got bought out by TD Ameritrade, there were a few little. Uh, hiccups in that uh, acquisition. So hopefully things stay pretty smooth, but otherwise um, I think you can't go wrong with uh, going the um, top step route to kind of get some uh, validation to your trading and just be in an environment where like, especially like on the practice, um, you're starting with the practice account to really uh, get, really master what you're looking for in your setups and your execution. You know, you, you want to be very comfortable with your trade ladder, regardless of the platform if you're that you're on, even if you're using um, the active trader, you know, start in a simulated environment so that when you do go to live, you're not making mistakes, clicking around on the chart, uh, you know, going long when you want to go short or putting more orders in or something like that. So that when you are trading live, you can just really focus on the chart and the setups and executing your entries, trade management and exit. And you're not, uh, you know, futzing around with um, the mechanics of placing those orders. So hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have questions or if you know, how, especially if you know how to get that range um, to show up on the, uh, the trading view chart, uh, drop in the comments, that'd be helpful to me. And hope you have a great week. We'll talk to you soon.